This is a little skills builder video on how to subtract a mixed number from a whole number. So it's pretty straightforward. There's just two steps. So first off, the first step is just to subtract the whole number. So 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. Then the step 2 is you're going to subtract the fractional part from what remains. So we have 3 left over, and we're going to subtract minus the 1 fifth. So here's 3, and I'm going to take off 1 fifth. And so what am I left with? I'm left with 2 and 4 fifths. You can also think about working backwards and say 1 fifth. I know when I take away 3, I take away 1 fifth from 3, I'm going to have less than 3, so I know I'm going to have 2 holes. And then I can think 1 fifth plus how much more gets me back to my original 3. Okay, so here are a couple problems for you to try. So I would say pause the video, write them down, see if you can do them, and then come back and I'll just walk you through. Okay, so the first one is 3 minus 1 and 1 third. So once again, first, whole numbers. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 third. So I know I'm taking away from the 2, so I have less than 2 now, so I have 1. And 1 plus 2 thirds will get me back to my original 2 holes. Okay, do the whole numbers first. 6 minus 2 is 4. Four, and then take away the three-fifths. So I have four. I'm taking away from it. So I have less than four now. So I have three. Take away three-fifths. So I have two-fifths left out of that hole that I borrowed it from. Whole numbers first. Seven minus three is four. Then take away the half. So I know I'm less than four. So I have three. And I took away a half from that. So I have a half left. And you, once again, you can also add back. So a half plus three and a half gets me back to my original four. So one of those ways may work better for you than the other. So whole numbers first. Eight minus five is three. Then subtract the two sevenths. So I know I have less than three, so I have two and five sevenths. Once again, I can add those numbers back together and get back to my three. Six minus one, five. Then take away the fractional part. So I have less than 5. I have 4 and 7 eighths. Whole number 7 minus 3 is 4. Then subtract the fractional part. So I have less than 4. I have 3 and 4 sevenths. So good luck with that practice. I'm sure you can find some other online practice, but this is just a short little tutorial for this important skill.